Hey guys, what's going on? It's Seam here again for another fragrance review. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a review from the house of Arij Ledori. Uh, it's a sample from their previous collection and this one is called Malik Al Taif. Uh, as you know, uh, Taif is a type of rose uh, which I believe is found in Saudi Arabia. So let's just quickly run through the notes. Uh, but before then, just to let you know, this fragrance was released in 2018 and the nose behind this scent is Russian Adam. Uh, he's the nose behind and the creator of this brand, Arij Ledori, and he's also the guy behind the uh, Oud house, uh, which is called Feel Oud, which he uh, heads up with another fellow perfumer of natural perfumery, uh, Botnikov. So the notes of Malik Al Taif are as follows. The top notes are Royal Taif Rose and Indian Rose. The heart of the fragrance is Indian Oud, Saffron and Deer Musk Absolute. And the base for the fragrance is Mysore Sandalwood, Amber Resin and Siam Benzoin. Uh, so if you're not familiar with the house of Arij Ladori, uh, they're known and renowned for using uh, some of the most expensive uh, and natural ingredients in their perfumery. They use the highest quality ingredients that they can in order to create very artisan uh, connoisseur type of fragrances. So there is a little bit of a, uh, a description by the house formerly called Taif, and it goes as follows a legend an untold story from a desert oasis an aromatic version of the arabian nights so as you know Taif, like i said is from saudi arabia which is why they've mentioned arabian nights and the desert so what did i get from uh, malik al Taif on my skin and guys this is the experience that i got on my skin uh, i did view some other reviews of this fragrance and I got a slightly different uh, experience myself on my skin and on my nose so only called Taif when I spray this fragrance on I get a very intense rose accord it's very sweet it has a very gentle slight spiciness but it's incredibly sweet has a wetness to it uh, it comes across to me a little bit like uh, rose water and along with that in the background I get this very cool and slightly warm spice uh, which is coming from the saffron as the fragrance develops that sweet uh, rose continues but then it becomes slightly powdery very creamy and very very buttery i feel this is due to the combination of the sandalwood helping with that powderiness as the scent dries down the sweetness of the rose continues uh, the powdery aspect is a little bit more gentle, but it's then introduced to more gourmand notes. I get this very uh, sweet vanilla in the dry down, uh, I believe maybe coming from the note of the benzoin, uh, but it's very candy-like. It has a very strong gourmand sort of feel, uh, and it helps to intensify the sweetness of the rose. As the scent dries down for me, it becomes very, very linear afterwards. It just stays this very sweet, bright, jammy, uh, creamy rose. I was slightly disappointed in the fact that the Indian oud didn't really jump out in this scent. It, I was really looking forward to having some woodier aspects in this fragrance to help balance out the sweetness. Uh, this scent profile is not to my uh, particular, it doesn't really appeal to me. I like my rose fragrances when they balance out a little bit more. Uh, say if they're balanced out by some fresh spices like caraway in Rose 31 and Lyric Man from Amouage or if they're balanced out by some patchouli or balanced out by some oud uh, but this one I didn't really get any other, uh, other notes this was really dominated by a very sweet uh, slightly syrupy rose accord in some wearings of Malik Al Taif uh, very few wearings and I did test this for quite some time I did pick up a uh, a hay sort of accord a warm uh, hay bright sweet hay accord maybe coming from the Indian oud but the Indian oud didn't really jump off on my skin too much and if there wasn't an enough woody dark aspect to this scent now if you're a lover of rose fragrances and you like these sweet jammy uh, uh, slightly syrupy candy like rose fragrances that this is, would be very very high on the list i'm not saying this is a bad fragrance i'm saying uh, the particular scent profile it just doesn't appeal to me too much it reminds me of another rose fragrance uh, by sultan pasha Uttar's called ensar rose 
again that was a rose fragrance which was very sweet um and it was very dominated by a rose accord but the oud aspect of that scent didn't jump off on my skin or hit my nose uh, which is why it wasn't really appealed to that particular scent profile now Malik Kaltaif in terms of quality is undeniable it smells very luxurious very regal and the ingredients just scream quality uh, there's no denying the quality of Malik Kaltaif but the scent profile is just not to my particular taste but like I've said if you're a fan of rose fragrances especially which leans slightly more sweeter then this should be high on your list I found that Malik Kaltaif was leading more towards the feminine side rather than the masculine side and if the oud or the woody aspect of this scent was stronger i think it would help to balance that out in terms of performance Malikal safe is incredible it lasted on my skin 12 plus hours and uh, the projection was very strong gonna have a very nice healthy scent cloud with this one overall rating for me is going to be a three out of five it's not a bad fragrance it's undeniably very high in quality but the scent profile was just not to me. The performance, however, is outstanding. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed this review. If you have, then please do leave me a like and a comment below. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure you do. Until next time, my friends. See you later.